So the Mega V2 is the newest evolution of our line of CNC machines. We've come a long way with things. The Mega V has always been the most popular line of machines for us. That Mega V2 takes it just to that next level with a lot of improvements that we have in it. We've been working on this one for over a year now. So we had the Mega V Pro, we developed that last year and we knew that we wanted to incorporate a lot of that into the Mega V2. So those two were kind of on a parallel track. We launched the Mega V Pro and now we've launched the Mega V2, something that's a little more affordable, but still keeps some of those pro level features. So we started Millwright CNC in a garage over seven years ago. I was excited about the possibilities. I needed a CNC machine for myself and at the time I just could not afford one with what was out there on the market. So I said, what kind of solution can I bring? And ever since then, like we, we've grown a lot bigger than you know, what we were in a garage, but ever since then, our pursuit has been to deliver the best value in CNC. Like that's our guiding principle. Anything we're designing, we want it to be the best value at that price point in terms of like what performance you're getting, what capabilities you're getting. I think we've delivered that with the Mega V2 and we're always going to be pursuing that next level to keep customers engaged, keep customers happy, and have them make the parts they need to make. Our vision for this machine was just answering that call from customers to deliver something even better than the original Mega V. There were certain check boxes we knew we just we had to take care of in terms of design elements. I think we've done that. We wanted to deliver something that was just unquestionably the best machine at that price point on the market. And I, I think the Mega V2 has done that. Hey, I'm Wesley, I'm with Millwright CNC Tech Support. If you ever emailed us or if you ever called in, I'm the one that you've been talking to. Well, in my position as tech support, I talk to a lot of customers and I, I get a feel for the pattern, for what the customers are having trouble with, what the customers need help with the most. Uh, a lot of these changes were based on that feedback on, on my experience. Uh, dealing with customers and helping them with their problems uh, day to day. Our vision for the company is always to deliver the best value in CNC. Anything we're designing, we want it to be the best performing product that a customer can get at that price point. So whether we're designing a clamp set, a small machine, or like the Mega V2 full sheet, we want it to just unquestionably be the machine to buy, the product to buy for that amount of money. Because they're coming from someone who started the company because I needed a CNC machine that I couldn't afford to buy. I understand that your dollar is important. And when you put that dollar on the table, it needs to bring money back to you, uh, either in starting your business, maintaining your business, making it more efficient, or just giving you a hobby to unwind with. I know that your money's important and the product that we give to you needs to give you a return on that. Hey, I'm Gabe. I'm the design engineer here at Millwright CNC. You know, we knew what areas was good, what areas had issues or thought had potential issues and we was able to uh, design, adjust, correct around that going into the, to the new product. So with the Mega V2, we've been really focused on the small details to really improve everything. Like I think even uh, one insignificant piece, we made like six prototypes, despite having it all modeled up in CAD but we were looking to make every aspect of this version of the machine different. So I was just gonna show you a couple of parts here so you could get an idea of like what the difference is uh, for each little part. So this is the Z motor mount. Like this is the original Mega V and this is the Mega V2. So it's a lot beefier. You've got a bearing hole there. that's gonna help restrict that Z axis screw better. Uh, this, is a, this is a big one for me. Like these are, the switch plates for the original Mega V and these are the switch plates for the Mega V2. There's a lot of like index points on there so they go to the exact spot. We've got dual Y homing on this so that made it necessary to not have this little single swivel point here. Uh, it makes more sense to have this part and you're gonna have a better uh, more accurate machine because of it. So on the motor mounts like this is the XY motor mount for the original Mega V We've got a different setup between X and Y. So like this, this is the X motor mount on the Mega V2. So you see like that's a huge difference in the part. It's a lot beefier. Uh, we've got a more refined adjustment here 
um, using just an inclined plane here for the for the uh, Y mount. So that's going to make it easier to adjust that gear rack uh, to pinion gear mesh. On the uh, Mega B2 XXL and full sheet version, like this is what we used for the original Mega B, and this is what we're using for the Mega B2. So again, you can just tell how beefy that is compared to the original one, which by the way was way more beefy than the competition's putting out there. Like this is quarter inch steel here. Uh, you might see like a 14 gauge out of some of the competition. So we were already heavier duty and like here's where we're taking it with the Mega B2. Uh, other things, this is a brand new custom extrusion. The production version of it is gonna be anodized, but this here kind of goes back to user experience. You're gonna be able to set your gear rack for the X axis on this better. It's gonna have machined uh, places where the gear rack pulls in, the linear rails index up against this point here. It's gonna make for a faster assembly. Everything's gonna be more aligned and you're gonna get up and running faster. Uh, Next thing on router mounts, for everything except for the full sheet, like this is, you would have had a Makita in this router mount. Now you could do a Makita if you want to. Uh, we're giving you options for the different routers, but like this is what we're moving to here. If you wanna use a DW618 on any of the sizes you can. And then of course we have the spindles that you can use that everybody's been asking for. Beyond that, bed options. Here we've got the vacuum bed. We offer a vacuum bed option on the XL, XXL, and the full sheet size. So if you've got panel goods that you wanna suck down using your own vacuum system, we've already got the plenum set up for you. We even have some parts that we suggest for getting all the plumbing. Uh, beyond that, you've got a lot of different uh, bed options. Everything's been thought of with a Mega V2. We looked at what are our customers asking for what have they been asking for for a few years now based on just thousands of data points with thousands of mega b customers and we're like these are the little details that we've been focused on here we're like this is a cheap part like it costs us a lot more to make this part than it does this part but we know we're going to deliver you a better machine and you're going to have a better experience because we're making this part so that's what the mega b2 is all all about is just taking and focusing on the details that so that you have a better experience with your machine. The awesome things about the Mega V2 is that you can get the Masso control with it. We still have the original Gerbil control available for those that are trying to be more price conscious, but if you need some more features, the Masso control is gonna allow you to take your machine to the even next level. There's a ton of stuff in here, but it's still very approachable and user-friendly. It's got a touch screen on it. You can visualize your G-code in it. Most importantly, you don't need to connect a computer to it. This is your computer and it's the CNC control all in one package. Uh, what we usually do with is um, the instructions. Uh, we have a lot of customer concerns about the instructions. The instructions were uh, pretty simple. Uh, it was a wall of text and a couple of reference pictures. What we're going to do with the Mega V2 is we're going to have exploded cam views with uh, modeled parts and modeled hardware and that's going to make it easier for people to, to reference the instructions to see what they're supposed to grab and how they're supposed to put it together. We've also uh, there was a couple of uh, harder areas to, to fine-tune with the other machine uh, mainly with the rack and pinion system and the uh, V wheels. Uh, this Mega V2 is moving to a uh, guided linear rail system uh, it's going to be easier to uh, to set up to install compared to the V wheels. Uh, there's not as much fine tuning you have to do with that. And with the rack and pinion system, we have changed the way that it's installed. Uh, it's going to simplify the process. It's going to take a lot of guesswork out, take a lot of the fine tuning out. Yeah, I've been working on the visual instruction side of the project where taking the model that is created in 3D and, and then creating an exploded view, pulling it apart and then reversing it, showing it go together so that the customer understands and has a better visual reference of how the parts go together. So one of the ways that we ensure quality here is that the operator is going to do an in-process check. Whenever they're running that machine, there are certain things that they know they're going to have to check to make sure the machine's producing it 
properly and to our specifications. And then after that, the part's not gonna go on to powder coat or get put into a box until the QC engineer has been able to review it, compare it to a few standards. Uh, in the rare case, something needs rework. We're gonna talk to that machinist about what went wrong, trying to understand like what was the gap in the process that allowed that to happen with our in-process checks. But that QC engineer is gonna be the last line of defense to make sure everything's gonna be perfect. So when you open up that machine, you're getting exactly what you expected. Everything's gonna fit just like it needs to, and it's gonna to perform to your standards. So we're an American company, and I'm proud that we make as much as possible right here. Like under this roof, we've got American machinists, American technicians, making your parts, wiring your control boxes. And I think as important as that is we're accessible. Like if you wanna call and talk to me about the machine, if you need some tech support, like give us a call. We want to help you. We wanna see you be successful with the Mega V2 or any of our machines you've got. So like one of the things that I think is really unique about our company is we have machines that we sold six years ago that were more of the garage, out of the garage machines. We sold for 500 bucks. If that guy wants to call and talk to us about that machine, we're gonna answer the phone and we're gonna help him out. And that's what we wanna do for you too. One of the things that I'm really passionate about as the owner of the company is getting to see where our machines go. Like we've got them everywhere from like your neighbor's garage to literally NASA. And it's amazing to see what people make with it. You know, they're, they're living their dream, they're following their dream with the machine. And I know that the Mega V2 with the capabilities at the price point is gonna make a lot more possible for our customers. And I can't wait to see everything that they're gonna post on social media, Instagram, Facebook. That's the most exciting part for me.